Are you getting burned out with Stalker Anomaly, Gamma, Escape from Pripyat, or whatever other tactical mod you're playing? Do you need something new? Something that feels like a real adventure? If that's the case, boy do I have something for you. Today we're talking about Gold Sphere, probably the most original mod I played so far since I started this review series. It was actually really hard to write this review because I wanted to talk as much as I could about the mod, obviously, but doing so without revealing any spoilers, because discovering the story, the quests and all the new mechanics is actually the best part of this mod. So yeah, you can see how doing a review without spoiling anything is actually pretty complicated. I mean, even on the Discord, where I spend so much time looking for info on some quests, People use spoiler tags everywhere for all the important plot points. Everybody is taking the no spoiling the experience very seriously. So I'm gonna do my best and follow these steps while sharing as much as I feel is okay. So you start as a regular guy who doesn't know anything about the zone, but managed to sneak in there after hearing rumors about the gold sphere. The gold sphere is basically the original wish granter in the roadside picnic book. There is a lot to say about the book and how the mod is inspired by it, but we'll get to that later. So you sneak into the zone completely green, hoping to find the gold sphere and wish all your life problems away. Let's say this is kinda overly optimistic and it doesn't really go your way, and being an inexperienced nobody, the first thing you do is immediately getting arrested by the military. After talking to the military leader and noticing how well written the dialogue is, and I can only give props to the devs and the translation team that did an amazing work to make this mod more available to the English speaking community, you take some medicine to fake a heart attack and convince one of the guards to come check up on you. This is your chance to escape your cell and run out of the military outpost, without any of your loot unfortunately, but at least now you're free. And while I was running away, zigzagging between the soldiers' bullets, I had the feeling this mod was definitely going to be something different. And believe me, that's just the beginning of an amazing and very weird adventure. After being welcomed in the rookie village, meeting the pet dog and pet skeleton of all the stalkers here, you look around in one of the abandoned houses, and in the middle of weird new anomalies that reminded me a bit of the Half-Life Barnacle, you find a doll. Remember when I said it was an amazing and very weird adventure? Well, the doll is when it starts getting weird and really interesting. She will essentially become a companion that you keep in your backpack at all times, with a full storyline and quest that you can do for her, but she brings a couple of interesting mechanics that perfectly fit with the gameplay of the mod. Let me explain. First, she's gonna be a very good source of advice, you can ask her for random tips that will help you with the general mechanics of the game, a bit like a tutorial. She will also share with you very important information during mission that will more than often save your life. When you walk around, she will hey. spot things, and if you ask her what she sees, she will unlock and point you towards secret stashes, special hidden quests, and so on, that you can only access through her this way. You can even ask for extra hints if you're stuck in a mission, but you'll have to feed her cheese for this extra help. Yeah, don't, don't ask me why, I told you shit was weird. But I think one of the most interesting parts of the doll is that you can point at anybody and ask her what she thinks or sees in that person. Let's say you stumble on a stalker that seems to be injured. Before helping him, we ask the doll what she thinks. She tells us that he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Well, then if you decide to interact with this guy, you know you better be careful. A lot of missions have different dialogue options and ways to be completed, and having a hint on what kind of person you're talking to will influence your decisions a lot and is overall a really interesting mechanic. You will also hear her approving or disapproving some of your actions, which indicates if you're gaining or losing karma. Oh yeah, because there's a pretty advanced and well thought out karma system in this mod. There's many different ways to do some missions, deciding to help people or not, lots of different dialogue choices that will affect the quest outcomes, and karma plays a big role in all this. So obviously helping people and being a decent human being will net you positive karma, 
And being a creepy weirdo, walking around the zone with a mummified mutant's head in your hand that lets you see stalker graves and digging them up to get their loot, well, yeah, that might not be the best karma-wise. The, the extra loot is nice, but people won't see you as the most trusting guy around. As you can guess already, the story and different quests are extremely varied and interesting. Add to this all the different choices that you can make in your interactions with the NPCs, you'll have to decide to side with some people or not, and there's literally full areas like outskirts that are optional with a ton of different side quests. This mod has a ton of replayability, and one playthrough is absolutely not enough to discover everything. And again, every single quest has something interesting, is well written, and is something that you actually want to do. It's never like a simple fetch quest that Anomaly made us so familiar with. There is an actual deep, interesting story and lore in everything. Spy and stealth missions? Check. Being enslaved by a controller cult? Mad scientists? Double check. UFOs? Not expecting, but making sense in the end? Check. I know I said no spoilers, but believe me, this is not even the tip of the tip of the iceberg. And I love how the game appeals to your common sense, knowing perfectly that you're gonna ignore it and makes you pay for the consequences of your actions. Find a box that says you better not open it. Find a freaking fridge saying do not open me. When they're in a place full of dead bodies, literally screaming do not go there, of course you're gonna do it. The mod is exceptional at teasing your curiosity and making you regret your obvious dumb decision. Okay, let's talk a bit about the lore, because the mod is heavily influenced by the book, not so much in terms of the story, even though there's a lot of easter eggs and references to the book, but the stories are still very different. It's more that the mod managed to capture the atmosphere of the book almost perfectly. The zone is a mysterious, almost mythical creature. You will seriously feel more vulnerable than any of the other games or mods you played so far. Anomalies, and there's a ton of new ones, they almost look alive. Some will be deadly as usual, and some will just mess with you and confuse you, making you really wonder if coming to the zone was really worth it. You will soon realize that other stalkers and even mutants are not the biggest threat out there, the zone is. The writing, the quests, all the new mechanics do a wonderful job at making the zone so immersive. The overall progression is well thought out, starting with a simple jacket and a handmade gun that you have to manually reload every shot, but you will unlock better gear quick enough. Faster than you think if you like exploring and looking everywhere for hidden loot. Exploration is very well rewarded. There's a basic cooking system and health system that fit perfectly with the gameplay, not too complicated and yeah, just, just good overall. A ton of artifacts too, and I do mean a ton. A lot of them with really useful properties, so artifact hunting is at the core of the gameplay as it will make your playthrough much easier. Because, don't get me wrong, this mod is hard, and you will welcome anything making your life easier with open arms. I'm not even playing on the hardest difficulty, and some parts drove me crazy. But you know you have something special in your hands when, despite the difficulty, you don't want to give up and keep progressing the story. It's so good it's almost addicting. Overall, it's one of the most interesting and honestly technically impressive mods out there. Despite the crashes and bugs, of course, but that's part of the stalker experience, right? It's not gonna hold your hand, there's a lot of complex puzzles to figure out, but you'll have a lot of hints to help you if you pay attention. The story is absolutely fascinating and completely wacky at the same time, leaving you scratching your head, wondering what the hell just happened many, many times. But honestly, that's the best feeling. I've been making a lot of videos recently, and I was starting to burn out a little bit with Stalker, and this mod was a real breath of fresh air. I can only say that it's much more than a simple Stalker mod, it's, it's a real experience. I can't recommend it enough. I'm working on releasing a full walkthrough guide at some point, but there's so much to cover I'm honestly not sure when it's gonna be ready. So don't wait for me, go try this amazing mod, you won't regret it.